show, to be honest with you. It's somebody. Does anybody know who it is? The track again. This is not a medical diagnosis. I'm not a doctor. I won't play one on TV. But it's pretty clear, transparent, it's obvious. That's not the same guy. That's not the same guy. Now take a look at this photo. On the left, you can see that the old Joe Biden clearly had some kind of a tattoo, and the one on the right does not. And in this photo, you can see that they have different signatures. They have totally different signatures. You can also see in this other photo that one person is a left-handed, one person is right-handed. Now look at this next clip. He's addressing a group of people and he's going to scratch his neck. And look at the way his skin moves. It's gonna zoom in, he's scratching it, and then when it zooms in, and it's, it's just gonna do another replay, look at how it's wiggling after he scratches. That does not look like real skin. Look at this again. He's scratching it as if there's something underneath it, and then it just kind of wiggles back into place, almost like it's some kind of a silicone mask. Now, up until this point, if you've looked at this with critical thinking, with an analytical mind, and you think to yourself, okay, that does not look like the same person, right? I'm not talking about conjecture, what's going on behind the scenes. I'm looking at evidence of visually seeing what's in front of you. And then, and again, you can go look at past clips. You can do your research yourself. Look at this and tell, ask yourself, am I being tricked that this is a totally different guy or not? And so if you're still blinded by that, right? If someone tells you this is an apple and this is an orange and you just switch it up and say, oh no, that, that apple is an orange, this, this orange is an apple, then no one can help you. This, if you look at it with, with your eyes and see for yourself, like, okay, there's something else going on here. Then you begin to open yourself up to say, okay, then let's ask some questions. What could be the scenario? Is this an actual person or is this a person with a silicone mask? Because the technology for silicone masks has been around Hollywood and many other places for a very long time. So now I want to show you some footage from a movie uh, 10 years ago. That and say, okay, there is something that's different, some kind of make up some kind of silicone mask something look at the behind the scenes of what this is this prosthetic makeup designer is talking about and you can look this up yourself uh what they're doing and this is hollywood it's hollywood and it's very good it's very very good so the way this person is showing uh, what kind of you know material is being used how it's being done how it's uh, uh, being brought together, like the realism behind it, how a, per a real person behind it is actually moving and the skin is moving, what, what, what's being used to do that, what kind of makeup goes over it. This is within the realm of possibility. Again, we're not talking about dinosaurs and some crazy stuff. We're literally, we're looking at this, it's within the realm of possibility, and then you have to ask yourself, if this is going on, right, then what is the reason what, what is the meaning behind all of this? And this is where a lot of people are trying to wake you up to, to see, because this is not some joke. It's, it's, it just, it seems so crazy to somebody to think that a president of the United States, right? Or a resident, right? Not president, but this person is being used in some form or fashion, being controlled and all that for some reason. And here's another clip with uh, somebody be, uh, underneath Emma Watson. Right? Look at it. Look at this clip. And again, this is all just fake stuff. They're talking. Their mouth is moving. They're taking this off. And behind it, there are just the pupils, the eyeballs, and teeth, and all this stuff. This is, this is the kind of technology that exists right now. And so you have to ask yourself, if you are being played, right, what is the reason behind it? Is this person dead? Is the real Joe Biden dead? Was he executed like a lot of people are saying? Did he just die? And they had to keep up this charade, this facade, and they brought in somebody else? At what point did this person go away and then this new person came? If this person is not a real person, right? You've already established, if you have discernment, that this is not the same person. Then after that, if you realize that, okay, then if it's not the same person, is it a real person that's an actor, like a doppelganger? Or is it a fake person, maybe a younger person, who, who knows? And they have a silicone mask on. Right? If they have a latex mask on, 
then from there, what is the reason, right? These are questions you have to ask yourself. And a lot of us have been saying for a movie that you are watching, 